going to see sunrise at sunrise. Inconveniently named because whenever you look up best sunrise spots in Mount Rainier or best spots to see sunrise, it just lists hikes from sunrise. So I get the name, but you made Google searches really difficult. Granted, when you came up with the name Sunrise, you probably weren't thinking of Google, because, you know, it was a while ago. <laughs> oh, man. Thoughts I have at 4 a.m. Fucking roads closed. What? It's not even snowing yet. What the fuck, sunrise? I swear it was not closed when I checked two days ago when I had service. Closed for the season. That's it. closed yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Mount Rainier Twitter, 19 hours ago. Roads closed for the season. Sunrise road. Yesterday. Why is this my luck? <sighs> it's okay. We're gonna do a backup plan. We're gonna go to Chinook Pass. We're gonna go to Tipso Lake. We're gonna see sunrise there. It's fine. I'm not upset. Yesterday, I just had to come one day earlier and I could have done this. It's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Mount Rainier Twitter. Ah, only had I had cell service, I would have known this. I just pulled onto a random forest road and found one of the nicest campsites. Um, I think I'm gonna stay here tonight and then I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> so what happens when you get up at 3.45 a.m. apparently, you uh, you get tired. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put my reflectors up and make it nice and dark in here. Nap time over. It's time to make dinner. I'm making bannock, which I suppose is homemade-ish, no yeast bread? Fried bread? We're giving it a go, y'all. I have a ton of flour and such left over from making ravioli. And I was like, what else can I use a bag of flour for? Bread. But I was like, I don't want to make, you know, like, yeast, like, I don't have an oven. I can't bake bread. So, I looked up no, uh, no oven bread, no yeast bread, and Vanek showed up. So that's what we're doing.
So I know for the recipe it says it's basically flour, baking powder, salt, oil, and water. And you mix it together, and it's supposed to be very sticky, and then you pan fry it quickly. It's supposed to be fresh, eaten fresh, so we're giving it a go. I wrote the recipe down in my little journal diary thing. So we have that. I also don't have tablespoons or teaspoons, so we're eyeballing it, which is how everyone used to cook, bake, so I believe in myself. It feels good. I think what's fun about doing this kind of recipe is the ingredients and the time that you put in is so minimal that if you severely fuck it up, you don't really care. It's not like you invested, you know hours into your sourdough starter and then you like messed up your bread this is kind of just like hope for the best expect the worst Could add a little bit more for good luck now it says to only knead it like 10 times until it forms a sticky dough all right we're calling it it's a very sticky dough oh my god my hands are a mess now i need to go do something about this <laughs> says to just put oil in the pan and flatten the balls of the dough and just dip it in the oil, so. If I'm doing this wrong, let me know. They almost look like English muffins on the inside. like a little flatbread egg sandwich. I made bread. I made a sandwich out of it.
I'm gonna get ready, lay down. I have cell service, which is, it's always nice not having cell service for a while because you really appreciate when you do. It's, it's not often that I get an actual campsite in the forest, national forest that has cell service. So, you know, it's always a pleasant surprise. I can call my mom and my dad. Not my sister, because she goes to bed early. <laughs> I was talking to a friend from PA earlier, uh, from Pennsylvania. Sorry, I forget people who aren't from Pennsylvania don't call it PA. Um, and they look at you kind of weird when you're like, I'm from PA. And people look at you and say, what is PA? I'm like, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's a long word. We don't want to say it. But people don't get it if they're not from there, which is fine. But I am from Pennsylvania, originally. Shout out to East Coast people who know what Wegmans is. We love Wegmans so much better than Whole Foods. Whole Foods is not as good. But I worked at Wegmans for years. Years. Two years? Three years? And I was talking to a former co-worker. He was asking me about my element. Because I've had this car now. I left on the road in 2017. Yes, 2017, August 2017. And, you know, I didn't really know much about a Honda Elements. I had, I had, uh, my ex at the time had a Honda Element. And I liked it. It was really easy to drive. I liked that it was boxy. Um, and he was the one that told me about how the seats pop out in the back. So, he's really the only reason I knew about the car in general. And so when I started looking at cars to live in, I couldn't really get it out of my head. The Element, because it was just, you know... It seemed the perfect size. It was big enough, but I, you know, I didn't have to drive some huge vehicle around. So he was asking me, and I said, you know, it's you know, it's 2009 Honda Element, all-wheel drive. It does currently have that is a bump right there. Um, around I want to say 210,000 miles. I haven't looked at my speedometer in a minute. At my speedometer, my mileage in a minute, but. He apparently has a couple of friends that have Honda Elements. One has 240, 240,000. Other one is also above 200,000. So these cars do run for a long time, which is great. And I really haven't had any major issues. I mean, the biggest issue I've actually had with my car is when my catalytic converter was stolen. But I had comprehensive insurance, so I didn't have to. I paid $100, I think. But I was talking about how it's kind of become kind of a cult. It has like a cult following. And 2017, if we can remember that long ago, it wasn't as, you know, van life, living in a car, life on the road. It wasn't as prevalent as it is now. COVID really, COVID really kickstarted that for a lot of people. So um, I'm just really seeing... You know, there's, there's Honda Element meetups, there's Honda Element forums, there's Honda, multiple Honda Element Facebook groups, there's also SUV Facebook groups. It's really, specifically this car has introduced me to really amazing people that I only met because we looked at the same hashtag on Instagram that was, you know, Honda Element owners or Honda Element car life or something like that, and we started following each other. And we became friends because we all lived in Honda Elements. So it sort of was a bonding type of situation for me when I first started out on the road. I was terrified, first of all. <laughs> and I didn't know anything. And there wasn't as much help out there. I mean, I didn't even, I didn't watch YouTube. I didn't. Really, I never, I didn't start watching YouTube till about two years ago. I really didn't even know about it. It was kind of what popped up when I would search how to do something, but I wasn't, I didn't have the app. I didn't watch it. I didn't know creators. I didn't know anything about YouTube. So I didn't have a lot of help with how to do anything when I first started out. So meeting people who were also living in their vehicles then, who also had the same vehicle you know I, I would drive I would drive into parking lots and if there was a Honda Element I would park next to them and it was little connections like that that really helped me my first six months on the road which were definitely my the hardest six months of the road I definitely thought about giving up 
a lot. I didn't know why I was doing what I was doing. I thought I'd ruined everything. <laughs> I had a lot of breakdowns in Walmart parking lots, just crying. But then I also was like, stop being a little bitch. You told everyone you were doing this for six months. You have to do it for six months. You can't crawl back to PA as a failure when you had all these dreams and goals because, you know, you're scared or you're, you're alone or anything like that. And then after a couple months, I realized I never wanted to live in PA ever again. I came out west and I was like, west is best. And I want to live here forever. And I, I love going home. I love visiting the east coast. I love seeing my family. You know, I'm flying to Cape Cod next week. I love seeing everybody, but I feel at home out here. Why the hell did I get into that rambling speech? Dear Lord. Oh yeah, I was talking about my car and my friend. It was fun. But yeah, I guess it's a little backstory on me. I guess I really haven't talked about myself much. I kind of just popped up on YouTube and didn't talk about myself at all. But now you know a little bit about me. And now I am going to finish getting ready for bed and brush my teeth and do all those things. <laughs> my phone battery is apparently, can you see me? <laughs> my phone battery is too low to use flash. So we're doing this. Calling it a night, y'all. See you guys in the morning. one of the lookouts that is staffed sometimes so it is locked currently because nobody is in it which is unfortunate but a lot more and more of these fire lookouts are becoming um locked <laughs> or you have to pay to rent them out or all these things so i know they're trying to preserve the history but it does make it seem a little less wild <laughs> I'm gonna go attempt to fly a drone for the first time. I'm in National Forest, so I can. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I know I usually end videos in my car, but this seems prettier. So here we are. Wow, that sun is good. Well, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.